Hey guys, this is Simon with Trade and Perform Coaching. Um, doing a uh, coaching session on one of the highest odds setups uh, using the algorithm. So I wanted to show how this works. So um, before I get started, um, my shameless bit of marketing is here. If you'd like to pass to the room or you'd like to join the room, uh, you can email me at Trade and Perform, T R A D E N P E R F O R M, at Gmail. Dot com. So uh, let me jump in. That's my shameless bit of marketing. Okay, so what we are looking at tonight is one specific setup using the algorithm with the stars. Okay, so what I want, I'm going to be very, very clear here on this one specific setup. Okay, what I am looking for is either a pink star to the downside. So I'm going to make this very clear. Either a pink star to the downside is the first step, or it can be a white star to the upside. So that's step number one, pink star, white star. Step number two is that this bar, very specifically, this bar just like this to this. Okay, so this is one setup of many, but it's one of the highest odds, gets stopped out like this see how the price make it really big price comes back all the way back and stops that bar out and then i get met with another bar it's a down bar for a short it either has a yellow dot underneath it or a star okay so um, there's some variations on this that i'll go through as we're going through and the long side of that setup looks like this and as you can see that often gives you just massive moves to the downside. For example, on this trade, your entry would have been at the close of this bar right here at 16.034, and it would have given you an extension down to 15.994 and a quarter. This is on an 18 tick. So that's 2.9 to 9.4. It's uh, about 35 points. That's 300 points, 30 points to $600 a contract. It's about $700 a contract that little move you only need one trade a day uh, to make a good living trading right so i'm going to show you its cousin the long side of that and again in this video i'm keeping it very simple it's only going to be this in my future videos i will give a more complex explanation so i'm going to find a long that gives a version of this trade let me see if i can hunt it down here real quick okay Here is a star. I'm looking for the long, so I'm going to erase my lines. All right. Star. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on one sec. Apologize, I'm getting over the COVID. So this bar is a candidate if it gets stopped out down here. Here's my star. Here's the stop out. There's the bar in, on the upside bar. It'll either have a little yellow diamond or a star on top. Again, I want at least one of the bars to have a star on it. So there's the star. gets stopped out. There comes the other star at 915. That trade was worth a lot of money. It just kept pumping up to the upside if you were looking for the long. It was fantastic. Now, I'm going to keep going here, right? So, if you look at the trade count there, as you're going through, you're, you're just hunting one or two trades. You don't have to hunt everything, right? And it is best when a star meets a star. It doesn't have to be that way. There's other alternatives. I'll show the more complex setups. But if I'm looking for the absolute highest odds, I want a star, a bar with a star in it, to stop out another bar with a star on it right that's what i'm looking for and as these bars are, are printing you'll see them ahead of time in real time uh if you visit the room so um or if you have the software on your desktop which is available so if you look 
As we come up through here, here's a bar with a star. I'm going to put the lines around it. Here's the stop out. There's the star. And there is the push to the downside. This particular trade would give you an entry. This would be your entry. This would be your stop. So you're talking 21 to 33. So it's about 10, uh, 21, 31, 33, 12 points, $240. Let's just go ahead and call it 14 points, $280, right? And from your entry at 16021, the best you could have done would have been down to 15998, still a push of $400. And if you'll see again, yet again, the star comes back. The beautiful thing about this is you can lower your focus to one setup. Star, bar gets stopped out with another star. So 1602075 against 1050. Again, it's about a 12 or 14 point stop because you really want your stop right. Excuse me. It's 162075 against 1608 and a quarter. It's about a 13 point stop usually, which is uh, $260 a contract. There's your push to the upside. That one was worth an enormous amount of money. Now, let's say you said, oh, this is what really helped me today in terms of not losing any money to the short side. I missed that long entry for whatever reason. <clears throat> and so let's say I wanted to short. Well, here's, an <coughs> excuse me. One short candidate, two short candidates. Notice nothing gets triggered here. Three short candidates. So see that right there? This is a B grade trade that I'm not gonna cover here. So you could argue that this was a valid entry, and I'm all right with that. If you're going to short, that would have been your entry. That would have been your stop, and that's fine. That's a 12-point stop on a market that's otherwise running straight up, and I'm all good with it. If you look at your next entry that would have set up, it would have been against this bar, right? I'm just going in sequence. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just letting the algo fire and go in sequence. I have to. It's a two-step process. First, I have to see the star. Have the star taken out. Here's your entry. It would have been 12875. There's your press to the downside. The best you could have done on this particular stretch would have been probably right in this area right here. That's still an entry at 16128 with a stretch of down to 16088. So you don't have to have 100 trades. Again, any of these trades uh, qualify for pretty good setups, right? Um, you had the roll down uh, from 16,128 down to 16,008. That's uh, 2,838. It's almost 40 points, $800 a contract. That was at 11 a.m., right? Again, I'm looking for the bar with the star, and I really want it near the apex. You can see that bar was actually worth far more if you let it continue to roll down. Um, you can see this bar never triggered, it had a star on it, never triggered back to the upside over here. This did trigger. Again, I'm not a big fan of momentum. We did not take that long. Um, you were coming off the off a huge extension there, right? So when I get down here, I'd go, hey, see this 1238 bar? That's on a big stretch down. We came down from 16.131 to 16.037. It's almost 100 point extension down. So I'm going to highlight it like this and just go bar by bar, right? I'm hoping that bar gets stopped out, right? So I'm just waiting patiently. Okay, it's been stopped out. What I'm hoping for now is that the, uh, in the next bar or two, I will get a bar with a star or a diamond. Okay, let's see if I got it. I didn't get it before it lifted. That's unfortunate. I thought we would get it right here. This is a B-grade entry when it has just the diamond on top. Um, it was valid. I wanted the star, unfortunately, and it just did not print. So uh, that would have been a great long to the upside. And then I don't think it set up again before the end of the day. It did not be pushed straight up from there. All right? And that's okay if you look, right? 
Um, let's say you wanted to trade long side only, all right? What was your the bias on that same on on the same day, all right? You would have gotten your entry right here. Star. Again, this is a B grade entry. This is an A grade entry. The reason it's an A grade entry is when it stops it out and it comes back with a star, it tends to have huge extensions off of it. The RR is fantastic. So again, it would have been nice if they would have stopped this out. So are there other ways to trade the stars? There are, but that's one of the highest odds trade setups that I have is when, a, when the algorithm that fires that star, when that bar gets stopped out and it closes back in with another star. If I said, Simon, I have to make money. That's what I'm looking for. Anyways, this is Simon with Trading Perform Coaching. Again, if you'd like to visit the room, simply send me an email. Here is the, I think I closed it down, so I'm going to pull it up again. There we go. Here is the email. You can get a three-day free pass. Just send me an email, and I'll be happy to take care of you. Uh, anyways, if you're looking to improve your, your trading, anyone can learn to trade. You're going to have to really focus on what the setup is. So, um, but there is a lot of PL there. And by the way, that's not a one day wonder. That happens day in, day out, that particular setup. So, anyways, talk to everyone later. Have a great day, guys.